Hi there, Bob Gager here with another installment of Ask Bob, where I get to answer Photoshop Elements users' questions. Today's question comes from Joanne Smith. Joanne asks, I have Photoshop Elements 11 and need to stitch two photos together and add text before and after on the photo. Can't figure out how to do it and need some help. Well, Joanne, let me see if I can give you some help. Here I've got a couple photos. Uh, got this photo here of my son Andy wakeboarding and another photo here of uh, my son Andy wakeboarding some more. Uh, so I've got them both open in Photoshop Elements. Uh, I double click on one of them. In this case I'll double click on the one uh, of him uh, doing a little jump. And down here in my photo bin I just drag and drop the other one right on top of that photo. And Photoshop Elements will go ahead and create a new layer with that photo that I dragged on top. So you can see I've actually got two layers now. I've got my original photo and then I've got the second photo just sitting on top of that. And I can't see the original photo because this one is on top and obscuring it. Uh, if I hide that layer by clicking on the little eyeball, you can see underneath is that photo of Andy jumping. If I show that layer uh, on top, uh, I've just got the picture of Andy wakeboarding. So how do I merge these two together so I can see both, uh, both Andys uh, side by side? And the way I do that is with something called layer masks. So if I select this topmost layer and click on this little icon right here, this is my add layer mask icon. So I'll just go ahead and click that. And you can see right here, this is a layer mask. And what a layer mask does is it lets me uh, selectively show and hide parts of a layer. Uh, if the layer mask has white in it, like it does right now as the default layer mask, uh, all of that layer is showing. But if I paint black into this layer mask, it'll essentially hide the pixels of that layer. And so let's do that. I'm going to select, click on my layer mask so it's selected. You can tell with that little blue uh, outline around it. And I'm going to set my colors to black and white and then bring black to the front and select my brush. So again, where I paint with black on that layer mask, and let me just do some painting down here, and you can see that part of the picture is being erased. Um, let me hide this background layer and you can really see what's going on. So again, I'm painting on my layer mask. You can see part of it's white, part of it's black. Wherever I paint with black, that part of the layer disappears. And the really cool thing about this is it's non-destructive, meaning if I make a mistake, so if I'm painting along and I accidentally paint over Andy's head, oops, that's not at all what I wanted to do, what I can do is switch, instead of painting with black, I want to paint with white, and then just go paint again, and it'll bring Andy right back. So you can see all I'm doing is either painting black or white uh, right here on my layer mask. So let's go back to black, clean this up a little more in this particular shot. Uh, I don't want a lot of this blue sky around the rope. I do want to keep the rope though, and just sort of clean up the edges. Let's zoom in a bit, uh, get my zoom tool, and just sort of click on Andy's uh, face here because what I want to do is paint actually with a slightly smaller brush. I'm going to switch to my tool options and change the brush size down a little bit. Nope, that's a little too small, so maybe about in there. And then I'm just going to paint a little tighter uh, spot around Andy's head and get rid of some of this uh, shoreline in the background. And over here we want to get rid of that and maybe even make my brush smaller and come in here and just really get in tight and get rid of all that dirt in the background and some of this here as well. If I make a mistake again, right, so if I accidentally uh, paint too much and Andy's shoulders disappearing, again just switch back to white and paint it right back in. And again I'm not painting on this layer pixels, you can see over here in the thumbnail, uh, all the pixels are still there. What I'm doing is painting on this layer mask and selectively hiding or showing parts of my image. Uh, so just like that, paint with black, paint with white, get this looking exactly as I want it. Uh, double click on my hand, gets the image back out here. I probably want to clean up uh, around, make my brush a little bigger, clean up around the rope a little more. Uh, just to sort of fade that down. Okay, 
So now that I've done that, I can reshow my background layer, right? The original part of the image. So there's that shot, uh, the first shot we had of Andy jumping, and now we've got this other shot on top of it where he's just riding the wakeboard. Now I'm going to grab my move tool, and with this layer selected, simply move him around wherever I want him. I can put him up in the sky if I wanted to do something like that. I can put him on top of himself, underneath himself, any any kind of spot I want. I'm going to just drop him right somewhere like that. The next thing I might want to do here is since I moved him down we've got the top of the rope where it left that first picture I just want to crop a little and fix things up so I'm going to grab my crop tool select no restriction and just drag over my image to about right there and crop my image so now both ropes are going off the top of the shot and maybe zoom in a little bit again see if there's anywhere else I need to clean up just to make this look a little better and uh, it's actually looking pretty good. Uh, I might want to mess around a little bit with some of the... Um, oops, I painted on my picture. Just click undo and I don't want to do that. I want to select my mask again on this layer. Maybe paint some of this to get rid of some of those splashes uh, from that top layer and just have the splashes underneath. Or if I do like them, again, switch back to white. And just like that I can bring them back. So I can blend these two layers uh, back and forth just by painting black and white. Double click on my hand tool again to get it to fit. So that's how I would stitch two photos together. Hope that's some, I hope that's something similar to what you were looking to do. Uh, you also asked about adding text. Uh, that's pretty easy. I just uh, select the layer I want the text above. So I'm going to select this topmost layer. Come over here with my text tool. Uh, pick my font. Uh, pick my style. Pick my size. Uh, go ahead and click anywhere I want and I probably want to pick a color that's going to um, stand out in the shot so let's just pick red I can double click on it to get rid of that so now I'm going to add some red text and uh, well let's just say stitching if I could type properly stitching photos together and go ahead and select the green check mark to accept that. I've still got my move tool selected so I can move this anywhere I want on top of the water, on top of the sky, it doesn't matter because what it's done is created another layer for my text. I might also want to make this test text look a little nicer. Uh, I can switch over to effects, uh, switch to my drop shadows category and pick a drop shadow. Uh, I like this one a lot, uh, what we call the low drop shadow and just drag and drop that onto my text and you see I've got a nice little drop shadow to help the text stand out. So uh, that's how I would go about stitching two photos together and adding some text. Hopefully that answered your question and uh, take care.